Welcome back to Newbie for Hire and another motorboat tutorial. This one is a warboat. It is buildable on official Peavers Peas. It is unmodded. This is a boat particularly good for raiding or defending against raids. Uh, as you can see, it's got a minigun on top for taking out Quetzals or big dinosaurs. It's got tons of turrets for taking out other dinos and players. It has two sniper towers. That's plenty of Plan X. Let's uh, take a look inside. Inside we've got a smithy there, a fridge there for our raid consumables, uh, three bunk beds stacked right there, and two more smithies here. It's got the generator here. We've got to duck a little bit in here. It's got our sniper nest here, so we can snipe people. And we got one more sniper nest on the other side. So someone can drive the boat, two people can snipe, a third person third person comes out here on top gets in the minigun and maybe a couple other of your raiders want to do some reconnaissance we've got a hatch frame to get birds in and out it can fit up to a griffin in here but obviously pretty tight but you can fit a couple pteranodons griffin so all in all it's the ultimate war boat and of course it looks spectacular all right, the materials list will be in the description as usual. Let's get into the build. This one is a bit trickier compared to our usual builds due to the sniper towers. And when we start it off, we'll grab a pillar and there's the rudder. We're gonna face this direction. This is how we have to do it to, to get the two by three configuration. And we're gonna line it up in this box just like that, looks pretty good. Before we do anything else, we're gonna bring off that pillar a thatch ceiling, another thatch ceiling, and from there we're gonna bring a thatch wall down, thatch wall down, and then underwater, another one down, another one down, one more down. A total of five walls off that, and then we're gonna put a ceiling off that, another ceiling off of that and one more ceiling off of that. We're going to put a pillar in this one and a metal foundation under this. And we can demolish all this stuff here. Everything up here except for the starting pillar. We're going to leave that for now. Then in that floating foundation we made, we're going to put a metal pillar in the middle. This is to keep it from the from decaying. While we're down here, we're going to go ahead and put our four turrets on this. One on each corner. So it will look like that. And this is for our leads defense. We will put these on all targets or any alpha leads or baby leads that come up. These four turrets will kill no problem. Back on the top, we're going to put a, another pillar next to this pillar, just like that and a thatch foundation off of that one like that. Now we're going to demolish this pillar and this pillar and we're going to put a foundation there and then a ceiling off of that a ceiling off of that and then we're going to put a foundation under those that and another ceiling and another foundation. Now we can demolish these ceilings but not the foundations. So it's going to look like that. Then we're going to put two thatch walls off the end of that going up and a thatch ceiling out. And we're going to stop that for now. We're going to demolish everything except for the last foundation here and the walls and ceiling we put. So we're going to demolish these other thatch foundations. And this one, so we should only be left with this one here in the middle. And now we're going to put a pillar in that one. We need to get a little bit lower. Just like that. And we need to go one more lower just 
So we're going to demolish all this. Put a pillar in that foundation and and now a metal foundation there. And that's the level of the majority of our boat. We can demolish all this thatch on the boat. We're still leaving that out there. We'll get to that later. And we fill these four foundations in. Now we need to lower again. And for that we need to go a pillar here. Then a pillar at the lower point there. Then demolish this pillar. And a pillar in this one at the lower point. And then demolish this one. And now put our foundation at the lower snap point here. And then another one at the lower snap point next to it. Just like that. And then we can demolish this pillar. So we're sitting on a 2x6. Uh, four of them at this higher point, two of them at this lower point. Now we're going to do our thatch ceilings, and we're going to go two on the side here, like that, and then one back at the higher point, make sure it's not going to the lower one, and then one forward, and then across, and then wrapping around the other side, and then again there, so that it wraps around like that. Now at the front, we're going to do two more pieces of ceiling, extending off the other ceiling. Make sure it's at the lower point on this one, because we want it off of our other ceiling, not off that foundation of the front. Just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and fill all those in with foundations, starting there and then here at the higher point, and then just wrapping around. And then here at the higher point. And now we're going to go with a another ceiling. And you can do a thatch foundation under that. And then another ceiling there. And one last ceiling there. And then we're going to put two foundations under those at the higher point here. And now we can demolish all these thatch ceilings except, once again, this foundation and all its supporting structures. So we'll demolish this ceiling to start. Oh, and I forgot this corner. Of course, we demolish the thatch floor as well in that corner. So this is what our final boat looks like on the bottom. It's got two hanging off the back, and then a 4x4 four four sheet, and then two off the front. And then this weird little thing. Alright, let's start by putting these hatch frames in. So they're a little easier to put in at the start. We want them on the the outermost point that we can get. So, as you can see, this is actually not the outermost point. We can put it out a little bit more. So it should be on the inside of this foundation on both sides. So you can see there, that's how we want it. And we want it the same on this side. So you can see there's two snap points there. There's actually three snap points because you could you could also go left left as well. So we're gonna go on this point right like that. And we're going to do the same here off the front. Off this one. Just like that. And the same on the opposite side. Just make sure it's just like that. Perfect. And we're going to go a ramp off the back here. A doorway in front of that. A wall next to it. A wall here. And notice there's two here. We want it on the lower point. 
because we want it on the we want it on the foundation like that and the same on the other side we want a wall here on this foundation like that and we're going to go ahead and wall up just like that and then a giant hatch frame off that and two ceilings off of that go ahead and put the giant trap door in that and then we're going to grab our slope walls we're going to put one there and one there now at the front facing the front now we're going to do another sloped a slope wall left on the left side and a slope wall right on the right side this is so that you know you're getting it on the inside instead of on the giant hatch frame and then we're going to put a wall there and a wall there same on the opposite side and then a wall here on the inside foundation and then the same on this side just like that and now two sloped roofs this is a, this is a tough one I, we want them ramping out toward the edge of the boat so it may take a few that's the one we want I got lucky sometimes you can get lucky with the with the snap cycle just like that and off the front of the boat we want the same thing two sloped ceilings and then on the side sloped ceilings going across over to here just like that and the same on the other side starting there going across like that and then we're going to go ahead and bring walls down from here and here same on the other side wall coming down wall coming down now we're going to do a thatch wall on the inside here let's see we got cut on the inside and from there a metal ceiling another metal ceiling across and then two more metal ceilings next to that just like that and then we're going to do a ramp off of this going down into the boat like that a sloped wall right here a doorway here doesn't really matter whether it's off the ceiling or off the off the lower ceiling or off the higher upper ceiling and then a slope wall left here and a slope wall left here on the left ceiling not the right ceiling like that and then a sloped ceiling on those two just like that and this is our ramp up to where we're going to put the minigun. And down underneath, we can now demolish this ceiling and this thatch wall. That could have been a thatch ceiling. I my mistake on that one. Uh, and that's it for what we're going to demolish inside here. We have one more piece that we have to do and then just kit out the boat. All right, now we're off to this funky thing we left here. So for that, we're going to bring the thatch ceiling over like this. And then one more thatch ceiling here. And now a metal ceiling off of that and a metal ceiling on the other side. So it'll look like that metal ceiling there, metal ceiling over there. And then we're going to do a door frame off the upper ceiling here, not the lower, the upper. A wall next to it, off the upper. 
and another wall off the upper there. One more wall off the upper here. So boxing that in. And we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. A doorway off that side. A wall. A wall next to it. A another wall next to that. And one more wall next to that. Make sure they're off the metal ceiling, not off the thatch. And now once those boxes are complete, we can demolish this whole thatch structure that we built earlier. So we'll just demolish this whole thing, including this foundation. And now we are all done with that except for the doorways. So we're going to stick one there, just in all the doorways. One at the entrance and then one at each of the sniper nests. The reason we have these doorways is because when you shoot out of these slits, uh, you can shoot people and you can shoot people riding tames, but a tame that is unridden cannot be shot through the slit. So if we find a tame unridden that we need to shoot, we can open the door and shoot out of it. Or if you needed to use a rocket launcher, you could open the door and shoot out of it. So we got that on each side. Now for kitting out the inside, there's not much to do. We're going to want to put a cable here. We're going to, this is facing the front. You can see there's the, the entrance to the boat and there's this little convenient box so we can center our cable off that. And we're going to bring it to this line here, this line right here. We're going to bring the front of it to that, it's staying in the middle of this silvery box. So right like that. Just like that, and then one more cable off of that, like that. And then we're gonna go two electrical outlets, one on either end, and the generator right there. Perfect. Our fridge, not many places we can put it. Uh, so we're just gonna stick it right in front of the generator here. Bring it over as far as we can, just like that. Smithy, we got three of them. We're just gonna, before we place the smithies, front of the boat, on this wing, we're gonna creep under here. We're gonna place a turret sticking through here as, as far left as we can go. And just stick it like that. And then one on the opposite side, same thing. Just like that. And then two more on the opposite side over here. Same thing, far left as we can go. As far forward as we can go. And they'll still shoot through here. And then one more. There. And then on the front of the boat, same thing. We can bring these ones in. We can bring these ones in a little. They don't have to be all the way to the left or all the way to the right. We can bring them in a bit. They do need to be all the way forward. And then for smithies, we'll go ahead and put one here in front of that. We can still reach this gun, so we're good. Another smithy in between these two guns. And one more smithy next to our generator, just like that. These three smithies will act as our raid storage. And then we'll, we'll put one turret in front of the generator over here. And then two turrets back here, one in front of the fridge here, and one more to the left side of that fridge. And then our bunk beds, we're just going to put them right 
here next to the generator. We'll just stack them all on top of each other. Just like that. Make sure you label them before you put them down. It looks a little bit harder to name them when they're all stacked up. And that's it for inside our boat. Of course, the minigun turret is for the top here on these two ceilings in front of the giant hatch frame. And you can just stick it on just. Just bring it as far back as you can onto the hatch frame. And just like that. And then you should be able to come up this ramp no problem. Get in it. I guess we destroyed those thatched ceilings a little too soon. Because we're going to want to use those to help position these crop plots we're going to put on top here. I'm going to put one on each. Then we can demolish those. And we're going to put on top of these turrets, we're going to put two guns facing out from these corners. And if, depending on how you place the crop plot, you might not be able to get it on the ceiling. You might have to put it on the crop plot, which it does mean it'll get destroyed if the crop plot's destroyed, the auto turret. But it's still better than not having a gun there. And then we're going to put one on the opposite corner facing toward the boat. As you can see, this one I can't I can't put it on the ceiling. And no matter how much I've tried, I'm, I can't position these crop plots to get both of them on the ceiling. Uh, so one of them's, with my skill level, one of them's going to have to be on the crop plot. I don't know, you might be able to get the crop plot on there and to position both of them on the ceiling, but I, I was incapable. So here, this one we got gun there and then this one on the crop plot so you can see they look like that and then we're going to do two more crop plots here just one on each of these ceilings and then finally two more crop plots down on these sloped ceilings and this is why we've moved those those guns so far at the side so that we can fit both crop plots in. We'll just go ahead and start with the right one. Put it in. And then put one next to that one. And then the same on the other side. We'll start with this left one. And then one right next to it. Now all we have to do is finish putting our gun turrets on, and we're going to have two at the back corner here. This is toward the entrance of the boat, the back corners of this giant hatch frame. And then down on the, these lower giant hatch frames, one on each of the three corners of the hatch frame. And then over at the front hatch frame, just all the way around, we're going to be putting these turrets up. Just like that. And then over on this one. And the corner. last hatch frame back around toward the entrance looks like that one was a little out of range on the corner and that is it. That is our structure limit and the completed boat. And then once it's done, you plant your plant X. We don't want to do it beforehand once again because the plant X count as an additional structure, but they'll still grow even though we're at the limit. And that's what our war machine looks like.
ready for raiding or counter raiding if someone's raiding you it's great to have uh, both a minigun and sniper towers on your boat thanks for watching if you liked it hit the thumbs up subscribe if you want to see more I'm going to be doing another video similar to this one it's a it's also a raiding boat only it's got only it doesn't have the giant hatch frame for birds it has a single uh, Toronodon storage where the Toronodon just flies in and parks uh, other than that it's kind of similar similar design with the double sniper towers and minigun it just has a different aesthetic but serves a very similar purpose anyway thanks again we'll catch you next time